What's that? Banner, 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 banner. Banner, 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 banner. Batman! Here we are with the new Wayne Manor set. Very, very excited. Uh, we're going to try and build it. I'm actually going to let Fly get involved this time. So it's time to pour out the contents. Let's hope the tape's long enough. Obviously, we're an English magazine. It's tea. Got to work with tea. Back the bill. Have you not? No. Oh. Maybe it needs a steering wheel. Uh. <coughs> well, day six. Wow. built Way Manor stroke back cave whatever you wish to call it really really impressed I'll be honest there's been some negative comments across the internet about this and I think they're completely unfounded this is a really nice set there's obviously things that people want to improve on but I think from a point of view from a Lego set of what Lego can produce this is fantastic it's some really nice build techniques there's lots of snot techniques really nice stuff the details down in this little control chamber really really good um, it's very very true to the original Adam West Batman's the Batmobile is just phenomenal has a really nice mobile looks really really fantastic and really does look like the original it does doesn't it yeah the figure collection as you can see let's start with the figures wow what a great set of figures He's everything just the Joker, amazing the penguin cat woman everything's absolutely superb probably my favorite bit the little room fly over into the door there so you can see the two poles my only criticism is I sort of got it in my head that those poles they slid down on but when you look at it it's actually they're staggered so the poles don't go down but what that does give you is a really nice play feature because you can put your Bruce Wayne and Boy Wonder as it were into there and there's a little ledge hidden behind turn around hidden behind there so you can have your dressed Bruce Wayne and your Robin sat on the poles ready so you can actually pretend you can go into there with them close it up lower the yellow flats behind and the next two characters that spin down from the pole if they're attached is uh, is Batman and Robin so it's a really nice sort of true to the show where they got on the pole by the time they hit the bottom they were in their costumes so that's quite nice it's one of those sets where when you build it and you have it in front of you it's far far better than any press shot you could hope to see i think it's worth the money there's lots of pieces a little back copter which is probably my least favorite bit to start with but when i built it i thought how cool is that 
and then the little printed Batman symbol on the cockpit. It's not a sticker, it is printed. Really, really nice. I don't think the picture really kind of gives over that how vast this is. It is, oh. it is big. Yeah. I think your purists, they're obviously going to pick faults with it. And you've got detailing. You've got those, the, the other thing that you were saying, yeah, the, cur the curtain detail and stuff like that. So there's loads of stuff. You can have loads of fun, the old kind of classic of kind of Batman climbing, rock, climbing, yeah, climbing up the wall and stuff. You could go to town and people might say, you know, like you want more rock detail and stuff from here. That's fine. This is the Lego set at the end of the day. You know, there's a price point, there's a piece count. This is really, really good. The only thing that I found quite strange is if, let me grab the box. So, if you look at the box, we've got it the other way around. And I was thinking to myself, oh God, what have I done wrong? I did make a few mistakes when building it and not concentrating. Um, but actually, when you go to the instruction booklet, it is built the way around we've built it. So we follow the instructions carefully. Yeah, it's displayed on the box the other way, but you can see if you look closely, it isn't joined up. But it's this piece here, so this will slot into that side. So if you can see the uneven side, you've got that there, and then on this side you've got it flat. Now that's where the control room locks into that. It's the other way around on the actual box, but the instructions get you to build it the other way around. So we were a little bit confused for about five minutes, wondering why it's different to the box, but it, when it sits together like that, it is absolutely fantastic little set. Luckily, Luckily I'm indeed. always confused, so that's all right. Mm. That's true. So yeah, absolutely brilliant set, love it to bits, lots of nice little stickers, there's quite a few stickers but not an extraordinary amount for the size of the set. Um, for me, this gets a massive thumbs up, what do you reckon? Me too, I think the um, minifigures are absolutely amazing, I think uh, even if you were spending this sort of money, kind of the uh, classic Batmobile is just worth every penny because it's just absolutely stunning. Loads of play features and it's actually got some display value and I think the amount of figures you get with it is pretty generous. So, uh, yeah, brilliant. The other thing I'd say was, it was really fun to build. Brilliant. So, thanks for uh, putting up with watching us build it and watching me get things wrong every now and then. But that's part of the fun of building a big Lego set. And uh, there's your DC superheroes, Batcave and everything else that goes on. So, yeah, fantastic. Thank you.